got off to such a really good start this year. I know they had a disappointing game one in league play. But outside of that, when you watch them throughout the non-conference portion of the schedule, and even now most recently against Bradley, what makes this team go outside of just A.J. Green? They're really good. they got a bunch of good players. Uh, they're extremely well coached, uh, put together well, great pieces. They should have been undefe undefeated coming into conference. Uh, they had West Virginia beat and just kind of blew it there in the last couple minutes against the press. And then they're up 18 at Illinois State, you know, and, and, and Illinois State comes back and win it. So very good basketball team. They were getting votes to be ranked uh, for a reason. We know what we're in for, and we're going to have to be ready for the challenge. I know you respect everybody throughout the league. I think there's something just special about when you know you go up against Coach Jacobson. And I think he's the only other longer tenure guy than you in the league right now. Just the relationship you've been able to build with him and, and that respect factor both of you guys have been able to build when you guys play. Sure, you both want to win, but there's also just a lot of respect yeah. back and forth. You know, he went to the University of North Dakota. I went to the University of South Dakota, so we're conference rivals way back from the start. He's He's been uh, fortunate to be with great coaches, just like I've been fortunate to, to be with great coaches. Coaches that do it the right way, coaches that are good people, hire good staffs, and recruit great kids. So, uh, he and I have become real good friends. Just like uh, the rest of the guys on his staff, we respect the hell out of them, but we also want to beat each other. You know, we, he's a competitive guy, I'm a com competitive guy. We know that they're going to be ready for us. We're going to have to be ready for them to have a chance to win. You didn't like the start your group got off to against straight, and you also thought the execution down the stretch in some crunch time situations could have been better. How much of an emphasis has that been in these two days that you've had to focus on getting off to a better start? And then when you get tired towards the end of the game, showing your guys these are where maybe a few things could have flipped the result against you. Well, the first half, we just didn't play hard enough on defense. You know, you have to be ready. Uh, as soon as the tip comes up, we were in the game against Southern. We did not come out uh, ready to go defensively against Drake. We played our tails off in the second half, fought like crazy uh, on both ends of the floor. We had good possessions and stuff at the end. Um, the, the shots just didn't go, or uh, we probably had one possession we could, I probably could have called a timeout on. and and put something together, but uh, offensively we were fine. It was defensively uh, that we took the first 20 minutes off. Jake, of course, gets honored with the Missouri Valley Conference Newcomer of the Week today. I know those weekly awards, maybe too much attention maybe sometimes gets put on it, but just the importance of knowing that Jake and you know, Coach DeVries talk very highly of not just Jake, but also Trey after the game. Coach Jacobson did as well in his press conference earlier today. Just the fact that those guys are continuing to get that respect, but also internally here in the gym, you can still see them with that chip on the shoulder. Well, I was I was giving the, the Valley administration a little grief there. We, you know, we've had Jordan Barnes, Tyree D, Cooper at Wright State. We've had some guys uh, have some really good uh, performances in wins with us. And that was the first time we'd been um, notice for, for doing that. And Jake deserved it. He's going to get a bunch more of those uh, in his career. Uh, we're happy for him, but uh, the biggest thing is, you know, your team winning. Defensively, I know that's where you continue to focus with your group, but knowing Trey and Jake have become two critical pieces down low, you of course knew what you would really have in your guard play hanging into the year. Where do you think your offense is right now in the grand scheme of where you ultimately want it to be? Uh, getting better, getting better, and give a lot of credit to JB for his leadership and uh, distributing, getting us organized, being a pass first guy. You know, Tyreek's going to score, Cooper does his thing, and they're all so unselfish. Um, and they're trusting those freshmen, they're going to those freshmen. They're still getting more comfortable on a day in and day out basis, and more comfortable at playing with each other. So as long as we keep working, you know, I think we'll be difficult to guard. Not to bring up coaching points, too, but how much can improving on the defensive end? help make you an even better offensive team with how quick you guys want to go. Obviously, the more defensive stops you get, it gives you that opportunity to do that. Yeah, you get a stop and, you know, long rebounds from three. That's a, that's a great place for your – we got really good rebounding guards. It's a great place to start your, your fast break. Getting a deflection and getting a turnover, let's get going because we're pretty dynamic in transition when we get those opportunities. They're few and far between in the league because of how people take care of the basketball and are patient with us, but you got to take advantage of these baskets. You know, every piece is important, so how disappointing was it to learn today that James Schmeitz possibly has an MCL-ACL sprain that's going to keep him out, not just noon hoops, but 
out of possibly the manager game later on tonight. Well, I'm going to have to hire you know somebody that's not lame. Not lame. You know, we're going to have to give these GAs an opportunity. I got to mow them. I mean, I, I mean, how much more help 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 do you need? That ought to catapult them and get them in the win column. So uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I know we're missing some key elements back there with Kenny and, and Dalton back home, but see if these guys can help them.